What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So in today's video, as you can tell, I have another try on haul for you all. Only today, I'm gonna to be trying out some bits from Miss Pap. Okay, they are literally mind readers because a few days before I even actually got an email from them, I was on the website. They have upped their game. Like I was just scrolling through the website, like adding like everything's basket. I did a poll on my Instagram a while ago about what different brands you guys wanted me to try it in these videos. And Miss Pap was a very popular one. So when they asked me if I would like to team up with them for a video, I was like, you know what? That sounds like a plan. So yeah, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Miss Pat, but of course I will be giving all of my honest opinions. If I don't like something, if something's maybe not my style, if something doesn't fit me, you guys will be the first to know. Miss Pat have also given me the most insane discount code, like probably the biggest discount code I think I've ever received from a brand. It's only valid for a couple of weeks, so I will put it on screen now, but also in the description box down below. So make sure you guys check that out. But yeah, without further ado, if you guys wanna see everything that I picked out from Miss Pat, please stay tuned. All right guys, so first of all, can we please talk about Miss Pap's new branding? Very nice. So the first thing that I got was this little number here and I wasn't 100% sure on this when I was looking at it on the website because you guys know me. Like I'm not much of like a frilly sleeve kind of girl. I had this in mind with another thing that I will show you guys in a second, but I actually really like this on its own. Obviously it needs to be steamed and everything, but I did just take it out of the bag. And this isn't something I would ever normally like, so I'm like, what is going on? So I don't know if it will necessarily pick up on camera, but this literally is just like your standard kind of shirt, blouse material. And you can kind of see my bra a little bit, but I am wearing like a full on block bra. But I don't think, I'll, I'll know when I come to edit this, but I don't think it's see through on the back. Like I said, time will tell. But yeah, I really like this. I was like umming and eyeing about it on the website because it's like, I have white shirt dresses. This is like a fancy white shirt dress with fun sleeves. And I actually really like it on its own, but let me show you guys what I was gonna pair it with. Oh, and just before I forget, got this in size 10. All right, so next we have this guy here. I love just a black, there goes the belt. Just a black faux leather corset top. Can you see like what I was going for here? You know, saw it on the model. I'm like sitting here making out the thought of this myself, but no, no. This here is called the Faux Leather Zip Detail Belted Cup Top Black, and I got this in a size 10 as well. Quality feels good. Literally doesn't smell of anything. Zips up at the back, and it's got silver hardware, which I personally prefer. Let me know, actually. Do you guys prefer gold jewelry or silver jewelry? Would you like mix? Oh, Michael's walking all over my computer. Cheers, mate. So the quality seems nice on this. You've got a kind of satin lining on the inside. The actual bits where you place your breasts is underwired as well. Why do I have to talk like that? Why can't I just say it's underwired at the chest region? I don't know what's wrong with me. I thought this could be really cute with like some little heels, like little mules or something. Little bag. Going on a night out on the town, except I'm not. I'm going downstairs to eat pizza with my cats. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. You guys know I have a few other kind of like leather corset bodicey sort of things. And I wear them all the time. Like I'll literally just wear them with sweatpants because sometimes I'll put sweatpants on and I'm like, mm, that is a bit too lazy. Wait, let me just put this like bondage top on and suddenly I'm dressed up. So yeah, I will get a lot of use out of this. It is also different to my other ones because it does come down here and it's a little bit more full. What do you guys think? I feel like I'm giving off like Maid Marion meets the Matrix vibes. And I don't mind it. But yes, so far so good. All right, so next we have the puff sleeve belted blazer in black and I got this in a size eight. You guys know whenever I do these hauls because I do have such a, I was gonna say simplistic, but I'm also gonna say boring kind of sense of style. Like I just like plain stuff mixed together. I always chuck in a wild card that's maybe not like my go-to style, but looks really good on the model. So this was one of those things because it's got a puff sleeve. Have you guys ever seen me in a puff sleeve? Have I ever even worn a puff sleeve? Willingly. Well, I'm gonna today. So yeah, this is just a standard black blazer, obviously with the puff sleeves. It does come with a little tie around the waist, but to be honest, I will probably pair this with either like a utility belt, a leather belt, something like that. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whack this off, grab some cycling shorts, a little kind of like smart casual sort of vibe. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Be right back. All right, this is not my style at all. I appreciate it though. I've just kind of loosely tucked it into these jeans here. Ignore the fact that my flies are undone. I've got some new, like, pressed on nails. They're longer than usual. Buttons and me right now, we are not friends. So yeah, just ignore the fact that my flies are undone. Yeah, it's like, I fully appreciate the top, but it's, it's just not me. 
there's definite potential there. Like it's converting me at least a little bit more towards a puff shoulder. I do kind of like the whole power shoulder though. Like maybe I need to start getting into shoulder pads or something. So yeah, not bad, just not for me. What is for me, however, you may have seen these jeans. I saw the jeans on Miss Pat's website and I was like, I got baggy jeans, I got baggy ripped jeans. I got skinny jeans, I got ripped skinny jeans. I have mum jeans. I didn't have a pair of like ripped, these mum jeans or straight jeans, I don't know, but I don't have a pair like this. So I got these in a size eight. I was kind of umming and eyeing about whether or not to get them in an eight or a 10. But like obviously once I've done up the flies, these are actually a perfect fit. Like they're nice and tight around my waist, but they're not too tight on my bum. The best bit about them though, is from like the knee down. Cause obviously you've got the rips, which you guys can see, but then you've also got the really kind of like messed up rips on the bottom, which I really like that like they literally look like they could be vintage Levi's or something. For me again, being the boring bee that I am, basic cami top, tank top, like racer back tank top, prop top, baggy t-shirt. I know, I'm wild. But then with like a funky little shoe, like a weird little mule. that's like kind of ugly, but also kind of cute. You know, you look at it and you're like, ugh, like why is that on trend? And then you look at it a few more times and you're like, I'm gonna buy them. See, I've got like an idea for these jeans in my head. Very happy with them. And the quality is so good. They've almost got that kind of like worn feeling as if they actually are vintage. So yeah, very, very happy with those. Next up is a top that I have tried something similar from another brand before. I got it in a size eight. And because of my booby size, it was just like, they were, it was barely covering my nips. Again, it's one of those things I have seen so many girls rocking on Instagram. I just need to kind of figure out if this is a trend for me. So this here is called the tie detail ribbed cropped cardigan. So like I said, I got one before in size eight. So I got this in a size 12, thinking maybe it like might cover a bit more. Okay, this is definitely a lot better than the other one I tried. So if you are looking for this kind of top and if you do have, I wouldn't even say big boobs, I just say like, if you have boobs, I'd probably go up a few sizes. I could probably go up another size with this. I definitely need some kind of titty tape to make sure this stays down. Don't wanna be like going to my local boots or something. Pick up my prescription and suddenly, hello, here's a boob. So yeah, I definitely need to work out some sort of situation with my boobs. Whether it's like I need to wear a certain bra with this top or something, so it's not too obvious. Again, it's one of those ones that's just kind of growing on me because it isn't properly my style, but I'm also like, but it could be. Yeah, I'm gonna try and figure out a couple of little situations with the boobs to like, just do them a couple of favors. But yeah, it really is growing on me. Okay, I just did something. I don't know if I'd necessarily get my stomach out this much, but whatever I've just done here, I literally just tied at the bottom bit. I rate that. All right, so next let's try out another bodysuit. So this here is called the Strappy Cupped High Leg Bodysuit in black in a size eight. I love the look of this. Again, you guys know I love the whole corset trend. I love to keep it simple and this just looks like a bit of me. I'm so sad. I love this top. I just need it in a bigger size. That's all, I need to get it in a size 10. It's just a bit tight on the back. I could probably force it up. But I don't really want to do that. But despite all that, I really love this. Like I've been looking for a bodysuit like this for so long. And obviously despite the fact that it doesn't fully fit me, this is probably actually one of the best ones that I've seen on the high street. Cause it's a nice material. Again, underwiring under the boobs. Yeah, I'm going to be heading it straight back onto that website after this and see if they've got a size 10 because I need it. And if they do it in other colors, I need those as well. So next, as you can probably see, I have changed my trousers. I really rate these. Again, this is one of those things that I saw on the model and you guys know what I'm like when I fall in love with something, I get it in multiple colors. And so I ordered these trousers in the pink as well. Although I got these in an eight because I thought to myself, mm, am I gonna be an eight or a 10? And these are a 10 and honestly, I don't know if it's just because I have the bodysuit underneath. I could go bigger. So like, just be wary with that. I'm usually like a size eight. I am a little bit more bloated than normal at the moment. So chances are these will probably work all right in a couple of days. But yeah, I'm not sure these will 100% fit properly. Judging by how these beige ones are looking right now, I think again, I'm gonna have to get these in a larger size because the pink is cool. Like, look at these bad boys. These are sick. They're sick. I'm gonna try them on. I'm not really expecting these to fit, but I do wanna see. Okay, these actually kind of fit exactly the same as the other ones, so I'm a little bit confused, but I'm also kind of happy about it because yeah, I'm gonna keep these as they are. I actually kind of think I prefer these. Like normally, you guys know, I would just go straight for the beige ones. For some reason, the pink is just calling my name today. And I didn't show you guys before, but I don't know if you guys can see, but it is a slightly cropped ankle as well. I really did not think these were gonna fit but I'm happy they do. 
Okay, so next I wanna try a little combo together. So again, I've got another pair of jeans. These are called the split front jeans and I got them in a size small. And then to go with those, I've got this corset top here. It is called the Bardo Frill Detail Corset Top in black. Now this is actually one of the items that I already had in my basket even before I actually even agreed to working with this pack. But again, you know how I feel about corset tops at the moment and this just like, she's got a little bit more sum and sum into it. So yeah, I thought that top, with those jeans, could be a nice little combo, so let's try it out. Okay, Miss Pap jeans. I find it so hard to shop for jeans, and these are literally just like, bam. These honestly couldn't be more spot on. Like, they fit so well. Again, not too tight on the bum, tight enough around the waist, there's no gaping material or anything. So as you might be able to see, they're more of like a slight boyfriend fit, they kind of flare out at the bottom a little bit, but... They have these little splits at the front here, which I really like. Again, simple details. I feel like this outfit is literally the epitome of jeans and a nice top. It's all boned on the corset as well, so it's not just giving you like the effect of a corset. It does help to kind of suck you in a little bit. I actually just think it's really flattering with this jean style as well. Kind of like guide you in, and then I'll see you come out a little bit. So cute. Again, this top with a pair of like baggy denim shorts. Chef's kiss. I just can't get over the jeans. Like the tops and everything are all really nice, but I'm just loving the trousers today. Trousers and jeans. So next is another little blazer to try out. Again, I thought it could work really well with these jeans. So this is called the Extreme Crop Blazer in black, again, the size eight. Let you see where I'm going with this. Again, casual on the bottom, kind of business on the top, but like business with a belly. It's got shoulder pads in the shoulder. Let's have a look. So this here is definitely more of like a blazer jacket as opposed to a blazer top, which is what I kind of originally thought, but I do actually already have like a blazer crop top. So what I'm thinking is if I just paired this with like a race back crop top, a little vest top, even just like a sports bra kind of situation, could be a look. Could work with a pair of sweatpants as well. Like you could do sweatpants, heels, and then this with like a little lacy number or something. You could wear like a lace bodysuit. I mean, to be honest, if I wanted to turn it into a top, all it would take would be a little stitch here. Yeah, you know what, the more I look at this, the more I like it. All right, so next we have this jacket here, which is one of the main things that caught my eye. So this is called the Belted PU Jacket and it's in the color Sage. They had loads of different things in this color. Definitely not weather appropriate right now where I am, but, oh, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. So yeah, I got this in a size medium. Also, it comes with a little chunky belt as well. Okay, yeah, I'm a fan of this one. Ignore the stain on my shorts. Spilt some of my pasty on my shorts earlier. Literally couldn't get more Cornish. But yeah, this outfit, nearing the end of summer where it's getting a little bit colder. Again, pop some heels on with this. It's like a nice little summer evening outfit. It's also got a little bit of edge to it. I don't know what my hands are doing. I think this might even be one of my favorite things so far. Apart from the jeans and the other trousers and the other trousers and the corset top and then the faux leather top. One of my faves, definitely one of my faves. All right, so last but not least, I have one more jacket. It is this blazer here. This is called the Oversized Double Breasted Button Detail Blazer. And again, this is in one of the sage colors and I got this in a size eight. Again, we have little shoulder pads. It's definitely more of like a lightweight blazer. It's not like overly structured. It's definitely more of like a summer kind of item. I swear I saw something like this on Jess Hunt. She was wearing it with like a matching pair of trousers. She looked very sexy. When does she not? And I want a bit of that. I want a little bit of mint green in my life or sage as Miss Pat calls it. This, I am a very big fan of. Again, ignore my top, my bra. I need to get more prepared with these videos. But again, if you just imagine this with like a plain black sports bra, crop top, whatever, chunky trainers, my little black Prada bag. Yeah, I just re-rate this. I love how kind of boxy it is, but because it's not overly thick, because it is quite lightweight, it's more of like a blousy sort of material. So it does sit quite nicely. It's not just like box. And obviously you can roll up the sleeves again. Oh, that I like. Yeah, I like that. Again, just a little mixture of cash versus fancy. The cash being the piece of pasty on my shorts. I really wasn't sure about this one. I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, should I end this on a positive note or should I just end it on a wild card? And yeah, wasn't sure what I was gonna think about this on me, but I'm a fan. I literally don't think I've ever even seen myself in like a mint green sage kind of color, but I'm really into it. All right guys, so that is everything that I got from Miss Pub. Overall, a lot of successes. Obviously, like I said, my faves have to be the jeans, corset top, other corset top, other jeans, pink trousers, shirt dress, uh, a lot of good stuff. 
So guys, as always, I will of course leave links to everything in the description box down below, as well as my discount code, which is literally like the most insane discount code I think I've ever gotten. I will put it on screen now and also down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.